Hi, Miss. My name is Dan Xing, and we are from Group 16. Our project title is Smart Bus Stop System, and let me introduce our problem statement for our project. From our problem statement, the overcrowded problem occurs is due to the lack of bus on particular bus route, which means there is no enough buses for people to take. For the second problem statement, lack of past passenger boarding information, which we don't have record for the time and the amount of passengers on certain routes. So it's very hard for the bus company to arrange the bus schedule and allocate the bus. And the third is traffic condition is uncontrollable, which the bus may be delayed due to several reasons. And the passenger do not know the location of the bus, which they do not know whether the bus already is delayed or already passed by. Now I'm going to talk about the objective. So the first objective is to implement booking system. So the booking system can collect the passenger information such as such as the time and the amount of the passengers for each route. And we will collect the data and statistics and analyze it. Then the bus company can, based on the analyzed data, utilize the bus resources and make some prediction. For the third objective is to implement the sensors. So in each of the bus stop, we have implement sensors and we use to detect the temperature, the light, and the smoke. So it will automatically control the devices. And for we will implement a smart location system. So each of the bus stops we have implemented the RFID sensors. Once the bus has reached the bus stop, the bus, uh, the RFID reader will try to pass the data to the demo DB and displays on the dashboard, which the location, uh, where is the bus right now? Now let me introduce our architecture diagram. First, the, when the user want to book the ticket, they need to interact with the QR system, and then the data will be passed into the Amazon DynamoDB and stored in here. Then the bus company can use their quick sign service to visualize the data and the statistic to make prediction. Once the bus has reached to the bus stop, the RFID sensor will trigger the lambda and send to send the data to the Amazon DynamoDB, and the data of the DynamoDB will be displayed at the dashboard by using the Amazon location service. So in here, the light, we have three devices in our bus stop, and then we will use this sensor to get the data and use the lambda to trigger the action of the devices. And then the data that retrieved by the sensor will be sent to the DynamoDB. So now I will demo the QR system, which is done by done by using the Python. So this is the interface of it. And the passenger or the people who want to take the bus can use this QR system to book for the bus. And we have provided two routes in this example which is the best like Villas Condominium and Utah Gamba block N. So for example, the passenger now want to go to the Utah Gamba block N. She just need to enter to press enter. And it will show you you have booked successfully. And now we go to the DynamoDB. And we have two routes, right? Utah Gamba has 12 passengers already booked, and when we refresh, now already become 13, which means the user already booked successfully. And this, we record the number of the amount of passengers, so which, had, which is fulfill our first objective, implement the booking system and collect passenger information. So, Based on the second objective is to collect the statistic and the data of the passenger. So after the user booked the bus using the QR system, all the information will be stored in the DynamoDB. So then we will use QuickSign 
to display the information using the graph and the bus company can look at it and understand the information of the data, analyze it and utilize the bus resource. So now let me to show you the dummy data we have provided for one month. In this graph, it will show the booking amount for each day. So based on the quick sign analytic graph, we can use it to make prediction for the future, such as we know as Friday, there will be a lot of passenger in the afternoon, then the bus company can allocate more bus for that particular time. So we should fulfill our second objective. Uh, the third objective for our project is to implement the sensors. So we have implement sensors in our each of the bus stop and which are the light sensors, smoke sensor, temperature sensor, also for the bus sensor. And we have created a sensor using the IoT core. Then we connect, we connect it to the Lambda, which used to bus location tracking, save the sensor data, also for the booking data. So now I'm going to demo for the date sensor data, which is used to control the temperature, uh, control the aircon, ventilation fan, also for the brightness of the dashboard. So you can see this is the code for it. And then we try to use the test event. So for example, the temperature now is 88. Smoke is, someone is smoking in the bus stop. So we put one and the light intensity, we also put 88. So we save it. Then we try to test it. So if you turn off the light, since the light intensity, you is very high, 88. And if you turn on the ventilation fan, since someone is smoking in the bus stop, and uh, turn on the air conditioner, since the temperature now is very high. So also, other than that, we will store the data that retrieved by the core sensor in here, which is the light 88, Smoking one and for the temperature is 88. And which fulfill our third objective. So the bus company can base on this to optimize the resources use as the device can control it automatically. Then let us look at the fourth objective, which is implement a smart location system to display the bus located at each bus stop. So in each of the bus stop, we have already implemented the RFID sensor also with the dashboard to display the location of the bus. So uh, in here, we use this lambda to track the bus. So once the RFID sensor detect the bus has reached the bus stop, it will pass the data to this Lambda, and the Lambda will store the data in the DynamoDB. So for example, when the bus ID2 reach here, and the RFID, RFID sensor will send the data, bus ID2, bus stop C. So in here, you will know that bus ID 2 now is stopped at bus stop C. Same as bus ID 1, it is stopped at bus stop A. We will display this data in the interface of the dashboard, which we will use the Amazon location service. We take the map and put it in the Visual Studio code. Also, we take the data from the DynamoDB using the CSV file. And then we open with the live server. In here, we have already set up four different bus stops, which is A, B, C, and D. So when the user look at the dashboard, it will show that now bus 2 and bus 1 currently is stopped at bus station A. Bus 3 is stopped at bus station B. And for these two, there's no bus stop at these two bus stations and which is fulfill our fourth objective, implement the locations, but smart location system. So passenger will be able to know now the bus is stopped at which bus stop. That's all from our group. Thank you.